That's right, Alicia Russo has become a sensation this tournament with her game-changing abilities. Her back heel goal has not only been praised the world over, but it's been immortalised in T-shirts and merchandise too. John is now from the Russo family. I'm delighted to welcome good morning brother Giorgio and dad Mario. Guys, a very, very... Morning, boys. Good morning. Good morning. How are we? <laughs> Uh, by the way, you've got to be so proud. Fantastic. She's been brilliant. Thank you very much. Yeah, we're all very proud as a family. It's been an amazing tournament, and we're just so happy with the end result, obviously. It's been amazing. And the togetherness of the girls as well. You know, the, the, you can see they're a close unit. Um, the coach, Ali, keeps praising the, the manager and absolutely right as well. But the, 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 the way they've, you know, even when they've not been sparkling, they've, they've stuck together, they've fought for every ball, fought for each other. It has been wonderful. Sorry, Ali. I was just going to say to the boys um, um, what I said to you earlier on, Al. If you'd given the girls a pen and a bit of paper before the tournament started, lads, and said, write down your ideal you know, two of them from start to finish. I actually could not have gone any better. No, that's right. It's, it's just been amazing. Every, every game has, been, has held its own challenges and um, they've done whatever has been needed to get through every single game. And going back to what you said, Alan, the camaraderie that they've got in this yeah. team has been amazing. I've played non-league football all my life and I've just been, never seen anything like it. It's just been amazing. And what about the crowds? What about the reception? Even, you know... Trafalgar Square yesterday, some of the pictures in the papers today, you've probably not seen them yet. They're, they're amazing pictures. Yeah, it's been unbelievable, especially from being at the opening ceremony at Old Trafford with 68,000 and then the closing at Wembley with nearly 90,000. It's just It just opens your eyes to what this beautiful game is building for women's football. Yeah. Tell, tell us a little bit about your sister and, and, and your daughter. When did she start playing? When did she start taking an interest? Was it through yourself, Dad? Yeah, so obviously she's got two older brothers, Georgie being one of them, and um, she started as most of most of the girls at uh, the senior level started, you know, playing with their brothers in the in the garden in the park. She get she got bullied mercilessly by the the boys in the back garden and at the local pitches, and and uh, you know wherever wherever I coached the boys, she she would come along too, and um, she obviously. If she didn't come to football, she would have to stay at home. So she always picked up a ball and came with us. And eventually, obviously, it all rubbed onto her. The passion of the game rubbed onto her. And she obviously then started going up uh, into the age groups, first of all, with, with boys football, because there, there wasn't many girls teams about. Yeah, yeah. She had to play with the boys. And then eventually they started girls teams. And obviously she joined them as well. But it was through through the, her brothers, really, that she got the, the passion for it. And where did where where did she grow up? What, what part of the country, please? We we live just outside of Maidstone in a okay. place called Farley. So yeah. I coached a team at the time called West Farley, and then she joined uh, the local team Bearstead, and she then went went on to Charlton before she went to Chelsea. Yeah, look, that's Bolter's Lock down there, isn't it? A complete angler down that way. Exactly. Yeah. Yeah. It's lovely. Yeah. Um, I, I thought she was very cheeky as well. Brilliant when the German uh, player came on with a with a with, with a bit of paper with a tactical change. She had a wee quick look, you know. Brilliant, and the back heel as well was magic. Absolutely. Well, I was going to say I didn't know they were taking German lessons down in that part of the world. I mean, could she did that no problem. <laughs> she can speak a bit of Italian, but I'm not sure about the German. <laughs> What's, I was going to say, what's next? I, I was reading, was I right in saying, I read yesterday, I think she's got a year on her contract to go. I mean, I'm guessing and I'm hoping for a lot of these girls, the sky's the limit now oh. I mean, in terms of, oh, it's just going to go crazy. Yeah, she's got <clears throat> she's got a year left at Man United, so um, she's just enjoying that. And then I guess she'll see what, what where, where it can take her after that. And it's very, very important, we were saying earlier, guys, that, you know, the government now realise, you know, yeah. what a feeling it's given the nation. Uh, and really, you, you can't stop there now. They've got to now keep plumbing money into the development of young kids, schools, you know, uh, school football, uh, club football, to make it much easier access into girls' teams. They must do that now. They can't stop. Definitely. I mean, there's been a lot said by everybody about the legacy, et cetera, and about getting girls playing football in the schools, which is fantastic. And hopefully the momentum that this tournament has given will actually do that. And a good thing from, from that point of view is that we've got a World Cup next year. Yeah. So, that, so it's going gonna, it's gonna to be hopefully 
a talking point for every, everybody going forward, certainly for the next year with, with the World Cup beckoning. Um, it's going to be great for the women's game. Young girls, hopefully, will just be sort of um, motivated to get out there and play. And especially when you've got when you've got legends like Ian Wright and Jeff Hurst commenting on on how the girls are, are building the game. I mean, the stuff that Ian Wright does for the women's game is unbelievable. And and, and you guys on on Talksport and Woodsy and Adrian Durham just really pushing the message that it is just football. And if you enjoy football, then it's it, it's there for everyone to enjoy. Well, Alan and I have just found out, lads, that the Marines in the World Cups in Australia, New Zealand. Yeah. Yeah. Exactly. Well, Alan, yeah. Alan and I have put ourselves up for that trip. I'm guessing you two will be going as well. I think you're going to have to fight Adrian and Sam Mataface as well. Oh, don't, don't worry about that. There's only one winner oh, there. There's uh, no yeah. fight in that, lads. Uh, don't we've worry, got, we've, know, got, we've got that part covered. I'll, don't worry I'll, about I'll that. I've the hotel in Sydney already, Ali. Don't worry. <laughs> Guys, can we, we, uh, last one, last one. Would we, 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 she get a chance to have a wee break now? Can will she get a nice holiday, or is it back to back yeah. to United? So she's busy this week with my brother. Uh, my brother looks after her on the agency side of things and, and what have you. But then she's um, she's going to go. We've got family in Italy, so she's going to go and um, I'm wine. Good about so my nan lives an hour south of Rome on the coast, a place called Nettuno, and my aunt lives in Tuscany. Oh, lovely, oh, lovely. Tuscany's lovely. beautiful. We used to go there pre-season training, lads. Tuscany, we used to go in the hills, a place called Choco. Choco, Choco. Choco. Just, just up the hills from Barga. Absolutely magnificent, lads. Yeah. It really is. Yeah. Well, listen, please do us a favour. Give her our best yeah. wishes, boys. Brilliant. Giorgio, Mario, many congratulations. Well done, man. guys. Fantastic. Fantastic. Thank well you. done. See you in Sydney. Um, <laughs> Ali, it's interesting you say Choco. I was there with a Swiss team. And no. I'm, I'm right in saying it's not too far from Pisa as well. That's right. That's yeah. where we, we flew. We flew into Pisa. That's yeah. where we flew into. No, no, no. We, the chocolate was bus beautiful. Out. Was it, was, it, it was hard to... work, but it was beautiful. Yeah. Exactly. I mean, we, we worked our socks off. We really were. I remember after the, after a session, a couple of sessions at Choco, you felt as though you could take on the world down. Yeah. It was fantastic. You felt really fit. The food was superb. The place, just the facilities, it was, it was amazing. really was amazing. So my friend, I'm down at the stud tomorrow down near Newmarket, and uh, yep. he's got a beautiful estate in Umbria, which is next to Tuscany. Oh, God. So that's my next step down there. That's my oh, next week. Count me in for that one. <laughs> <laughs> well Coat done. Brilliant. Uh, so that's nice. Giorgio and Mario, thank you. Brother and dad of Alicia. Uh, gosh, you did, they, all, they all deserve a rest now, don't they? And the season, yeah. of course, will, it won't be long starting. A reminder that TalkSport and TalkSport 2 will once again bring you live commentary from the WSL and the women's game. It all kicks off next month. Spurs take on Manchester United. 